Yes, good morning, children. So, until now, what we have completed, ma? So we have completed exercise one and exercise two, and in exercise two we have completed how to solve simple equations without transposing, and then by transposing in two methods we have a learned. Now I'll explain word problems on simple equations and the two examples. Okay, so first example. Total number of the boys and girls in a class is fifty-two. If the number of girls is ten more than that of boys, find the number of boys. Now listen carefully. What is given here? First one, right? Given total number of students in a class is given as fifty-two. Given total number of students. Equal to fifty-two. Total number of students is given as fifty-two. If the number of girls is ten more than the top boys, now listen carefully. What is given? They have given one statement. If the number of girls are ten more than the top boys, what is the meaning of that? Girls are more. How many? Ten than boys. See, in Telugu, if we say girls. Boys can be ten members at once, but do we know how many boys are there? Did they give any information? They didn't give any information about number of boys, so we don't know how many boys are there in that class. So what the what do you have to do? Whenever we don't know particular value, what we have to do? We have to consider it as a variable. So consider let. Let number of boys be equal to x. Then number of girls is equal to what they have given? Ten more than the top boys. Ten more than the top boys. But how many boys are there? That means ten. Number of, number of, 
into 50. Therefore, present age of Ramu is equal to 15 years in the present age of Ramu's father is equal to 3x now. So, 3 into 15. How much it is? 45 years. Ramu's age is 15 and uh, his father's age is 45 years. If you want you can check also. See, after 5 years Ramu's age will be 20 and after 5 years father's age will be 50. 20 plus 50 is nothing but 70. So, our answer is exactly correct. Okay. So, these two examples now I explain. More two examples are there. Those I will explain in the next class. Now I will explain homework from the excess. Okay. So, let me explain homework that is from exercise 3. First one is homework for you. Write the information given in the picture in the form of an equation. Also find x in the following figure. Okay. So, I write the equation and you have to solve it. They have given one spoon like this they have given. Here total is given as 15 centimeters. And here it is x. And next now from this they have to write an equation. See if you observe here they have divided this total length into two parts. One is x and one is y. That means total length is 15. So obviously what is the equation? x plus y is equal to 15. This is the required equation. Now using this equation you should solve it. Find x value using transposing technique only. All transposing techniques only. Okay. This is homework for you. In second one also they have given one pen. Na? Now multiplied by 7. Multiplied. 
by 7 means 7 into x, 7x. Then, and then reduced by 3. Reduced means nothing but subtraction. Reduced by 3 means 7x minus 3. Now, this is equal to 53. That implies 7x minus 3 is equal to 53. 7x minus 3 is equal to 53. Solve this equation and find x value. So, these 5 are homework for you. Okay. Complete them and in the next video.